finally, after years of asking, after years of of memes, dude, we finally got the buff update for towers. <laughs> Skyline is back. Don't mind this, it's just hacks. Wow, look at the price of Rocketeer now. 2.5k. This is pretty cool now. So Rocketeer has a dead zone now of a cert of a certain radius right here. So basically, if you place it too close, it won't do anything because it'll damage itself, which makes per which makes sense. But it does have a lot of range to go ahead and play around with right here. Look at that. If one shot's abnormal splash. The limit is still there though of eight Rocketeers. So these are the upgrades. Zero, one, two, three, and four. When you upgrade to level one, you just give one second faster. Level two grants you from 25 damage to 55 damage and 22 range being 25 range. Then for level three, it goes from 55 damage to 100 damage and four seconds to 3.5 seconds. And now detects stealth at that range and has a larger explosion. Now to the artillery cannon, it goes from 100 damage to 225 damage. And the range goes from 25 to 28 and even larger splash. Look at that range. That range is pretty good. Like an artillery should be. So the splash of this is really good now. And overall, the DPS has improved a lot. But it does cost a lot more. So you got to take that into, into consideration as well. Hmm, look at that. As always, let's just see that. This means that artillery can one-shot abnormal boss spam when it gets a direct hit. These also have armor value as well, by the way. So we'll break it down. <laughs> look, 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 look. <laughs> Finally, it's nice to see Rocketeer not perform like crap anymore. Although for the cost to damage, I'm not sure on that. But I will leave Egg to, to do that. Mortar still has a place limit of six now. What's still sad to see is that nuclear annihilation still deals a pitiful amount of damage. I mean, it's a lot more than before. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just that it's a nuke. This is an artillery. It deals more damage. It makes no sense, dude. Anyways, for rank 1, it goes from 22 range to 24, and fire rate increases to 4.5, or decreases rather. And then for the second one, 10 to 20 damage, and the fire rate decreases to 4 seconds. Bigger cannon goes to 50 damage and 28 range. Loaded warhead, 50 damage to 100 damage, range from 28 to 30, and fire rate decreases to further 3.5, and a larger explosion. For the max level, it is 175 damage with 35 rage. What is strange though is that there's no dead zone on here, Yet it's a it's a nuke that makes no sense. I think that is a uh, exaggerate. I mean, sure the splash is big, but it's actually not killing that far, huh? Overall, I don't think more to receive the good rebounds. I think it still sucks for what it is because you're spending thirty grand for that much amount of DPS versus over here you spend ten grand less and you get about the same DPS and cheaper. But it is an, an upgrade, although the visuals for that are uh, exaggerated, they're not true. Wait, does default motor do that too? Uh, yeah, that was way too big. Wow, get to play sound four electroshockers, what a shocker. Okay, it's actually starting to get annoying, I don't like the new, the new motor. <laughs> okay, electroshocker now starts with two damage, four it would do zero damage, which is really moronic, but that's great that they fixed that. Anyways, level one, fire range goes from 7.5 to 9, and fire rate decreases to 0.8. You finally get four damage. Damn! It also detects flying guys now, and three max hits. The vest gives you double damage, more range, and decreased fire rate. Lighting cannon now deals to 45 damage. The range goes to 14, fire rate is increased to two, five max hit, and stuns enemies. Also increased chain range. Zeus cannon, which is the new max one. 90 damage, 2.5 fire right now. So this is a, this is actually increasing, which is worse, but it does deal more DPS. Eight max hex, increased chain range, longer stuns, reduced defense. So that means Electroshocker isn't a pile of trash anymore. It's actually worth your time using. The only issue is that there's a place limit of four, which makes it crap. So I guess Electroshocker in a way can be used as Splash, just not entirely the same. I can see it start, it's like chaining its way over here and can break all these mysteries and things like that. This is more of a support tower though, but mm, I don't know how to feel about that. 23 grand, I don't know. Pursuit even got a buff as well. 
First upgrade is from two damage to three, and armor defense thing is enabled. Range increases not to not be five. Missile launcher bursts of two, by the way, and seven second reload for it. Try better minigun goes from three damage to four. Range increases to 0.5. Fire rate decreases to 0.075. Now detects stealth at a much earlier level, so that's a pretty big improvement. Before it would only be at max level, but now pretty good. Who gives you more missiles and damage increases to seven? Space defense, space defense. Increase to 12 damage, 12 range, and more missiles. Really, the biggest problem I'm seeing here is that it detects stealth much earlier because it used to do it only at max, and you, you need to spend a lot. Now, for Golden Soldier, got buff. I'm not sure if it was cost to increase. I think his cost got increased too because 475. I don't remember that. I mean, his first upgrade is range 16 to 0.15 fire rate. 2 to 3 damage, 1 more range, and now detect stealth, and increase burst of 5. 5 damage, 0.1 fire rate, and increase burst of 8. And Delia Soldier, range, increase of 19, damage 10, pretty much double, fire rate decrease of 0 0.076, and increase burst of 12. I want to see if we can just palm with Golden Soldiers. And remember, this is without support towers, no DJ or commander, it's just the base towers themselves. There is the tank versus the golden soldiers. I don't remember golden soldiers shutting it this fast. So that's pretty good. I can't believe I'm seeing this, dude. I I remember complaining about this for 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 years, and it's finally here, dude. It's it's awesome. So so now I'm gonna see if this can kill the fallen king. I'm gonna place a bunch of artillerys in the background. I'm not gonna place a motor just because it doesn't really seem that much of a good balance. I still think it sucks. Place down a few electro shockers because they're actually worth using because they do because they do kind of freeze in place. Plus they lower the armor value as well. Max out pursuits, of course. Rocketeer is kind of an issue though because the range is too small. What I mean by that is that it only has an actual range of 10 studs or so, and the red is just unusable. So yes, although it is far range, it, the range itself kind of sucks. But if you place down a Rocketeer like this, you'll still cover it off. Versus if you put it over here on the edge of the map. Yes, it'll reach, but you're not getting the most value out of it. All right, I got 40 towers. Time to see if I could pull this off with no supports, by the way. Just the base towers to kill the Fallen King. My main span is Golden Soldier and Pursuits, but I have some Splash and a few Electro Shockers. So far, it's doing pretty good. I, I like this. Last wave. Let's see if we can win the classic Fallen Guardians, of course. Let's see how much damage artillery done. 13,000 damage so far. That is pretty good. Golden Soldier. What the hell can I click? Dude, let me click. Yeah. Dude, let me click. There we go. 14,000 damage for the soldier. Hmm, nice. And the pursuit of have each dealt around 25,000 damage or so. Okay, guys, uh, we are struggling hard as hell. <laughs> the Fallout Guards. I guess I guess we still need supports for Fallout mode. I kinda, that kind of sucks. That and I don't know. Golden Soldier is not really a great late game boss killer. It's more so ranger things like that. It's certainly not artillery. I mean, he does a lot of damage, yes, but generally splash damage towers are not great for bosses like this. Oh god. Oh, I do. I'm gonna lose. I'm losing. Damn it. I'm sure that the balances are gonna make a lot of strats change for the better. Uh, but. They do cost more now, though, and I don't really know how that would... I'm not that involved with sort of the balancing side of this game, uh, so I really have no clue on how that would affect the ongoing strats used currently. But yeah, overall, a well-needed update, and I hope more, to, uh, more comes along, like for Freezer and other towers. Freezer especially, please give it already.